Christine, the NYPD is always reminding us, if you see something, say something. Now, that applies to their officers, even if that something is in another state and on a smartphone app. NYPD officer Gregory Santora works to keep the streets of Brooklyn safe. But one Saturday morning in August, while off duty, Santora found himself stopping a crime nearly 1,000 miles away. I came across this video of this individual. It had the hashtag, uh, police killed my brother, RIP Tony Robinson, I'm going to lose it, bro. And it caught my attention. Santora and his five year old daughter were browsing Periscope, the live streaming video app, looking for videos of people at Disney World when Santora came across this instead. I'm not playing, man. First one of these mother police officers I've seen. A disturbing live stream from 27 year old Reynaldo Glenn in Madison, Wisconsin, threatening police officers' lives and detailing a plan of suicide by cop, an act of revenge for the 2015 death of an unarmed black man. When it came to a point where he started to arm himself with what appeared to be firearms, then I realized that, you know, I couldn't just watch the video anymore. I had to take action. Santora searched the internet for a phone number to contact police in Wisconsin. I explained to him what I saw. I sent him uh, links to the video, screenshots, and I just wanted to make him know what was going on because I thought danger was imminent. If officers could check their email for some officer safety info. The Madison Police Department immediately put out that alert to their officers, warning them about Glenn. An officer eventually caught up to Glenn in front of a hospital where he was arrested. Police found two guns and a knife in his possession. I'm just glad I was able to do the right thing. And no one more thankful than the chief of the Madison Police Department. We've only got 470 officers, but each and every one of them owes him a big debt of gratitude, and I'm at the top of the list. Reynaldo Glenn was in a Wisconsin court today for a pretrial hearing. He's facing felony charges for threats against law enforcement and terrorist threats. In the newsroom, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.